Tonight, a shocking number from the crisis at the southern border. CBS News has learned 150,000 migrants were likely apprehended in March. That's 50 percent more than in February. Among those allowed to stay, hundreds have been dumped in a small desert town in Arizona, hours from the nearest shelter. CBS's Lilia Luciano follows their journey. In the tiny town of Ajo, in the middle of the Arizona desert, Border Patrol comes by every day and drops off dozens of asylum seekers after they've been processed. They're left to find their way. Well, this isn't a local decision. Aaron Cooper We're says not. the town doesn't have the resources needed. So the county has to drive asylum seekers two and a half hours to the nearest shelter in Tucson. So when we went from one drop a day to oftentimes two drops a day, very quickly we had volunteer burnout. And it turned from a, I'm willing to come and pitch in for a few hours to this is a full-time job. The volunteers also give them food and a COVID test. In the last week and a half, nearly 300 asylum seekers have arrived in this town of about 4,000. Were you guys even ready for this? This is not the first time. We've had to come together as a community to solve a unique problem that hit suddenly. Data obtained by CBS News shows that in March, CBP apprehended an average of 5,000 people a day. We met this mother of two from Venezuela at Tucson's Casa Alita's shelter. She says she was separated from her adult son 11 days ago. They don't want their faces shown in case it jeopardizes his release. The family had never been separated before. You got to this country, a country of freedoms, and now you've been separated. No, ma'am. Today, there was one family reunion. These asylum seekers from Cuba had been apart for two weeks. Now they can take their next steps towards asylum together. We've seen busloads of asylum seekers arriving here at Casalitas, but these families are the exception. 90% of people who are apprehended at the border by Border Patrol are being expelled to Mexico. And even for these families, asylum, Nora, is not guaranteed. Lilia, thank you.